Cooking Cassius IFL TV, MTK Global, We're in Saudi Arabia. Mm. You alright, mate? Yeah, man. Go on, tell me. Well, go on, tell me. How did uh, How did you feel you performed tonight? I felt rusty, a bit out of touch. You know, obviously, you know I'm way better than that, obviously. But you know, I did the best I could do. The last few months has been a real dark place, and I've been laughing and smiling. I've been trying to keep my own. Listen, I've got a balance of team of people around me and they all rely on me to see what spirit I'm in. So, even though I've been down, I've been struggling, I've been smiling and trying to keep everyone's spirit up, you know, and stuff. You know, um, the guys kept me together. You know, when I felt like giving up, they kept me together. You know, I've got a great coaching team, great physio team, great guys behind the scene. So, it's great, you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, Mark, we've been working now for a while. We know each other. I'm sure he knew that I was in decent condition, sharp enough, but he knew I wasn't where I should be. But we know and believe in what we have and what we work with. To like to beat most of these guys, it's only the top five guys that need to be in premium shape to beat, as you see from today. You know, cause what's no chum and he's tough. I'll give him some raw slick, but he, he, he took them, you know. He took them, he's tough. Could have stopped him a few times, but I just felt, any fighters have been at the ring for a long time, It'll tell you, you feel like you're just always a second away, a second away, a second. That that second and third shot, sometimes it's not as smooth. And then, obviously, I wanted to make a statement as well. So sometimes, I was patient. Then, I, usually, I'm patient and marry up. And but I was patient and I wanted to kill. Then I was, it's, it's a bit, but you know, it is what it is. Was there a little bit of ring rust in there for you to make? A little bit. I was rusty as hell, dude. I came in two stone over my fight weight. Come on, when was the last time you ever see me come in 19 stone plus? You know, I'm usually 17 stone 10, 17 stone 8, you know. Was it important for you to kind of end this year, considering the last six months you've had with a win? Yeah, just yeah. Just your head. Yeah, yeah, of, of, of course, of course. Um, very important, man. Very, very important, you know. Very important for me and my team as well, because we've been working and we needed a job. We needed a job, we got a job. You know, obviously, me and Tiz have been working hard. You know, obviously, Zab, um, Zab's come on board to help us out as well. You know, because Tib's not getting old, but he's not the biggest guy in the world and taking a lot of power punches day in, day out from me, Richard, and all the other guys. It's good for him to have a bit of help sometimes as well, you know, obviously. He's been my head coach, you know, but Zab's experience, I've been around, been building a lot of guys from the amateur and stuff, building him up to professional. Who brought him on board, you know, I, I asked Mark, you know, I trained Zab, I like him, I asked Mark, Mark said, yeah, Zab's fine. You know, and, um, you know, there's a few little things it, you know, things we've been working on, but he brought a different view and a different angle. Little minor things, but it worked out and I did some of the things in there. Obviously, my tips, I agree with everything. You know, like we, we were saying about taking little steps back instead of one big, you know, so it's good. A few times what came to me, I took the two little steps back and cut him off, check, you know, check him off, rolling the shoulder, but we're learning and we're working as sharp. You know, a few I made him miss his right hand, but I didn't come back with mine straight away at the uppercut, but the good thing is, we worked on things for three, four weeks, and we did it in there. You know, that's the main thing. Because it's fighters that work on things for months and years, and they don't do it. But I was brave enough and confident enough to do it. Stood right in front of him, ride his punches, make him miss, took the little steps back, and then come back in. But I knew what I did wrong. I, times I stepped out, I just step in, and then times, one thing Mark always said to me, when I gain ground, don't give it away. But a few times I was sort of like, okay, you know, moving around, giving this, but also when he was throwing, I, none of the punches really land. I was just catching, picking, and riding, and slipping, and laughing. You know, I enjoy, enjoy myself as well, you know. Um, how much of a weight off your shoulders is what happened last night with the head statement? <laughs> Shit. I knew I was innocent anyway. I wasn't even, I was just angry. I wasn't even aware of myself. I was just angry because they put me through hell to prove what they knew and what I already knew. Every, anyone with sense knew I was, I was innocent, apart from the haters. Why can I pass the Vada test two days before and fill that one two days? It doesn't make no sense. Why can I have 40 drug tests this year alone and pass them on? It makes no sense. If you're in steroids, the staging system for six to eight months. You understand? And then, you know, but listen, 
it is what it is. I don't want to say nothing and get myself in trouble and all of this stuff, but it's good. But only haters alone thought was, uh, was guilty. They know all them coming around. Oh yeah, um, fuck all of you guys. You know, yeah. quick to. I went from being the man number one, manager challenger, beat the man that no one wanted to fight, Askarivas. We worked hard. We lost, I think, 17 kilos of that fight in 12 weeks. We pushed ourselves to the limit. I got sick. I was angry, you know, a certain time in my coach said the arguments because, not because we was arguing, because I was dieting, I was frustrated. And my coach wanted me to do things that I couldn't do because, you know, and then me and my coach were passionate, you know what I mean? He told me stuff and then I was thinking, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but because I'm spending so much time dieting and stuff and then I went for all of that and then, but well, that's boxing for you. But that's why, no, I'm just trying to get paid in this bitch. And that's it. Get paid, win world titles, and leave this bitch with my senses still attached. How did you think this WBC situation will resolve itself? Immediate reinstate, immediately. I took my mandatory away and my title away. I remember they fell a Vada and I passed all the Vada tests. They ain't got, they don't they have nothing to do with you, can. Why have they just. You see? They just need to just give me my title back. <coughs> give me my shit back. Dylan, I will. Insure WBC world champion in this bitch. Dylan, uh, listen, I know this uh, situation is still sensitive, so there is a lot of stuff that you can't mm. talk about mm. still. So mm. I'm not going to kind of probe you on no, this. I just wanted a reaction from you, which you've, you've given me, so I'm not going to. Go on about no, you know, I want to say thanks to for standing by my side and like most people, you're one of the few people who stand by my side and believed in me and messaged me, called me to check on me in the times and times is hard, so respect. And that's what I said, when the exclusive come, you were one of the first to give it, I was going to give it to and you know, I'll stuck to my word, you know, so. But yeah, go over to my YouTube channel and check out the exclusive. This is the fake exclusive. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 hey, no, 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 we don't cut shit out, well, we try not to anyway, um, alright, have you got any final words, you wanna, you've ended the year on a positive, it's been, um, a good couple of days for you, so, I got nothing to say, man, you know, I gotta say, my whole team is happy, everyone's happy, I'm, I'm, I'm just angry, I'm, I'm so angry, you know, I'm, I'm enraged, you know, people, in the industry just had to destroy me. Why? I'm the guy that fight anyone. I'm the guy that comes and entertain. I'm the guy that takes a fight at three weeks notice. No complaint. I'm the guy, it doesn't matter what shit will come in, what's going in my life. I come and fight, I show up and fight. I'm the guy that helps people. I'm the guy that tried to help the community. I'm the guy that, just like, why, why is people giving me a hard time? Why? I'm the guy that works my way. I, I didn't get no, no easy way to no mandatory. I fought my way. I fought dangerous fighters back to back. My last four fights, everyone thought I was going to lose them. I saw all the ads. I saw all the panels and stuff. I beat these guys and... But you know, it's cool. Like, people in boxing are very grateful. You don't appreciate the people surround and when they're gone, they were like, ah, oh, yeah, there's some dead fights around. And that's what's going to happen. But it's, it's all good, listen. My team believe in me, my family believe in me. And we're still out here getting this milk. On that note, there's a smile. I stopped smiling now. He's the smiling is over. Just pure anger and maximum violence and rage, you know. Little one? Hmm? Tommy? Little White, thank you very much for talking to iPhone TV. It's a pleasure, bro. And, uh, I'm never gonna say bread in, I'm not. I know they want me to say it, but I'm not gonna say it. You sure? <laughs> no, no. Go. I'm not gonna say it, man. Alright, good to see you back. It's the first time you ever see me the sword in eye after after 20, 27 or 28 I fights. Even know, so did you get fun in the eye? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wack was doing the thing where he was doing that. It's a good technique, a very good technique where you, you turn the jab over. But it's weird, I thought you were from in the left eye, not the right eye. It's weird, I was like, God, like... But I think I knew it was, I think I went square, I went square when he yeah. done it, I think. Better is probably, <laughs> the back eye, I'm fine.
No, no, it would have been. This side would have been better. Don't because. No, 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 no. This side would have been better because um, I got 2020 vision in 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 both of them. So it wouldn't have matter. It's just saying um, because this one, it, 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 but it doesn't matter. Really. Listen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This one, I can close this one and shoot out with this one. But the only thing is, I was able to catch his hook and roll and slip. So, but it's an experience. Listen, I had seven amateur fights. I had seven amateur fights. Remember, as a kid, you would throw all those things in the amateurs. When you turn pro, it's nothing. That's sometimes we sparring and I get fun. I said, no, no, this sparring going because this way I get my experience. You know, I ain't got no experience. I'm one of the top fighters in the world. Look at these guys. Look at, you know. Look, what took Klitschko the distance yeah, and rocked him down to his boat. Yeah. I'll do it, give you a Listen, what we've been through to go out there and do 10 solid rounds, yeah. I'm nowhere near my best at the minute. Right, I'll wrap this up. You, you better much. do that before I wrap you up. That's fine, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just telling you what can happen. Don't know why, thank I'm in you. that mood. Yeah? Yeah, rock quickly. Oh. <laughs> I even get angry because they say, don't use the N word, it's nasty. Thank you very much, Dylan White. Birdie, and so pretty for my whole. No, I'm joking. <laughs> See you later on.